guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. So if you may want to the gaming drag today, I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent, Alex's Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Oh yeah, I also wanted y'all let y'all know I'm now an affiliate of Green Man Gaming. What that means, you'll probably know by now, is you go to the description, there's going to be a link in the description. You click on that link, you go to their website, you get great deals on all the latest and greatest games, and uh, hell, I get commission from it too, so... Also, my lovely girlfriend Elle is an, uh, is an artist, and she's taking commissions now. I've got links to her FA and Twitter in the description. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Alarm Chan, are you there? Oh, Alarm Chan, where are you? There we go. Alarm Chan, you're up. And let's go. Sorry if I'm out of breath, y'all. I just got done. Oh, doing sit-ups. All right. Sir Alex, to, to what do we owe your pleasure this time? Just checking in to see how you're doing. Ah, we appreciate your time here, sir. So what's going on over there? Have you cleaned up the warehouse? Yes, sir. The other men are still rearranging the supplies as we speak. We're also having someone culling the slimes regularly. That should hopefully prevent another outbreak like last time. Well, as long as someone's on the case, I think you guys should be fine. Yes, but there's that. The slime situation should be well under control by now, Sir Alex. That's good. Do leave some of them around to propagate, yeah? They're still essentially our waste disposal system, after all. Understood, sir. Guess we should get a move on, Cassian. Let's go. All right. It seems that you're done here. Better check out on the others. Okay. There's someone... There's nothing left for me to do here. I should head back to the others. Um, where do we need to go? You arrived in the market district. Seems there's nothing more you can do here. Better check on the others. Oh. Here, no. No. <gasps> oh. You've arrived at the Aegis Mining Headquarters. Alex went ahead to the receptionist. Good afternoon, Sir Alex. How may we help you for today? I just want to see our mineral and ore collection. Certainly. Right this way, sir. If there's anything else you need, please let us know. I'll be at the lobby. Thank you. As the staff left, the room grew completely silent as Alex quietly perused the gem collection. Though it felt like he had a lot on his mind. Hmm. Alex? What are we here for, actually? Nothing. N nothing? Mm-hmm. Nothing in particular, he said as he grabbed his tool to sit down in front of a display case. He promptly did the same. This is actually where I tend to go. I tend to go if and when the day becomes a bit much. To clear my mind, if you will. Ah, so like a place to meditate, almost. Hmm. Precisely. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes I do need to go to a different place to calm my mind after things get to be too much. But I guess I didn't expect you to, well, go from one room to another. Right. My lab is quiet and as cozy as it can get. But being there constantly reminds me of work and responsibilities. Where is here? Alex opened the display case and gently picked up the crystal from within. I remember coming here a lot when I was much younger. Or rather, sneaking here. My parents didn't want me breaking any of the display cases, but honestly, I was just curious. Of all the places in the city... This is probably one of the last places that genuinely holds only good, any good memories for me. Or at least enough of the good ones that I don't have to think of the other. He held the crystal towards the light before placing it back down with a deep sigh. But no matter how much I indulge in nostalgia, I can never relive the pain of the reality. That I am forever broken, never to shine brightly and brilliantly as this crystal. Alex. We both fell silent for a long time before Alex finally spoke up again. And I guess I do owe you an apology. Huh? Well, what for? For shoving my expectations and standards onto you. You weren't ever obligated to help, but you still did, and couldn't complete a bunch of and I couldn't complete a bunch of tasks, nor being able to make the crystal plane a reality if not for you. Crystal fun. Sorry, I'll take an edible before this video. And perhaps this is due to my perfectionist mindset, but I do prefer things to progress without a hitch and return a flawless product. But that is simply unreasonable, if not impossible. Not especially while I'm the way I am. Alex, don't say that. Makes sense to have high standards in your line of work. After all, a lot of people can benefit from your research, even if indirectly. So, I'm always happy to help a friend, and I can't wait to see what you'd invent, invent next. Thank you, Cassian. You're too kind. Alex decided to show, show you the other items in the collection. Some of them looked very identical to the well-known gemstones like diamonds, while others looked and felt completely alien to you. There was this very brittle-looking one that felt more like a pebble than a gem, but when shown under the light, it was as vib bright and vibrant as a disco ball. A symphony of light created by such gemstones. Just imagining that could already be that could already bind you, blind you. 
At least Alex seemed to be in a better mood than before. After a while, he decided to return to the guild and headed to the tavern for dinner, as per his request. Better go back to the guild, then. You could immediately see Max and Toby sitting at one of the tables as you entered the tavern. Oh! Oh! Ow! Hey there, you two! Toby waved at you excitedly as he pointed at the vacant seats at the table. Huh. You don't have to shout, you know. Ha, yeah, my bad. You don't always dine outside your, outside your place, so... I guess so. Alex? Cassian? Hey! Oh, Ashford. Ashford happened to swing by to take your orders as soon as you joined the two. Finally taking on my crispy cham eggs offer, Al. Sure, but I'm still paying for it this time. Oh, bummer. Nah, suit yourself anyways. So, how have you guys been? Managed to find anything today? We've been decent. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Didn't find anything, though. Just the usuals. I see. I see. Well, you won't believe what I found today, Max. Yeah? What did you find? The farm. Oh, are you absolutely sure, Toby? Yep, yep. It must be the one. Has to be. And what are the farmers? Are they around? Sadly, no. A hurricane swept through and destroyed all the crops. How unfortunate. And the cattle, were they around as well? No such luck, but we did manage to unearth a single Yamato. Oh? How much is it? How much? A fistful? Just a single piece, but a very juicy one. Oh, how nice. That will season our stew nicely. You betcha. The spice, mer the spice merchants will love what we found. Good, good. Make use of every bit of it. Squeeze it dry if you have to. Of course. Waste not and want not is our motto, after all. Um, Alex, what are they... Oh! Alex suddenly pinched your shoulder a little as he whispered. Shush. I'll tell you more about that later. Just try to keep quiet for now, okay? Okay. Well, what about our restock schedule for the next season? Ha, huh, about that, well... Well, would you look at that, the food's here. The Snow Leopard happened to show up with the food you ordered. He was a man of few words as usual these days. Nice, about time. We all good? Mm-hmm, let's eat. As you chewed down the food, I was cautiously explained to you in mild discretion that Max and Toby have been talking in codes all this time. You remarked that Toby and Max could have been could have used a lot of more discretion for this, for this intel exchange, but their cipher was sufficiently obscure enough to keep them safe. In general, Toby had just finished his reconnaissance of the suspected areas of nether smuggling, and was now relaying his findings to Max. Apparently, he and a few other operatives were meant to set up an ambush by that area, but someone must have tipped the suspects off. Any people previously present on scene quickly slipped away, leaving the fertilizer facilities nothing more than a ghost town. Despite that, Toby's team must have found more clues leading to the smugglers, to the smugglers' main base of operation. I see. Anything else? Nope. That's pretty much all she wrote. All right. Best be about it, then. Well, we'll be taking our leave as well, if you don't mind. Aw, oh, leaving so soon, Al? Well, you know I don't like the crowded places, yes. Yeah, I know. Just messing with you. Well, take care, then. See y'all later. See ya. Alex? Cassian? Until next time. See ya, Max. See ya, Toby. You and Alex parted way early as he headed back to his lab from there, whilst you were to your room. On the way back, you couldn't shake off the feeling that someone was keeping an eye on you. Though you never saw anyone or anything when you turned around. Hmm. You made sure to lock the door right away, though it took you a while before you finally relaxed. Afterwards, you went on with your nightly rituals before crashing into bed. Though, as you tried to sleep, you couldn't help but keep thinking back to Alex about the internal problems he's facing, and how he dealt with all that. Huh, thinking about all this wasn't really doing anything. Hmm. Nope, what's this? Oh, okay, okay. He probably just needs more time. Ah, well. After a while, you managed to get into a comfortable position and finally fell asleep. That's where it cuts off. To be continued, yep. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna save it right here, y'all. Alright, so that right currently is the end of Alex's run. Alex's path, I mean, for now. Uh, we're just gonna pause it right there. So we're gonna wait for the uh, team to supply us with more content. But anyway, y'all... Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.